Okie doke, what up amigos, welcome back. My name is LBD, today we're playing Cult of the Lamb. Uh, last episode, we uh, had a lot to do. Uh, we only went on one crusade, we were that busy. Um, yeah, keeping up with these guys, uh, finding food. As you can see, Treebeard here is a little bit elderly. We've got a few elderly citizens in our cult now. Sonic is another. Um, so, we have we, we have much work to do. Um, I'm just going to go straight on a crusade right after I collect that gold. That's excellent. <coughs> straight on a crusade. We need to make some money. Uh, we need to... Ooh, that's not a crusade. So what? Uh, we need to find some bones, is what we need to do. Um, we need bones to complete a ritual. And, uh, yeah, yeah, very busy, very busy. Necromantic gauntlet, that looks sick. Slaying foe, summon a ghost. Terrific, what's this one? Cleansing fire. Shoots three projectiles at once. I can't remember if I've had that one before or not. I wonder if these dummies actually die quicker when, uh, to weapons that do more damage, because it doesn't seem like it, but they're still quite tough. Anyway. Very tough. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> the gauntlets are actually quite tough as well, like... I believe they're actually stronger than a sword. So, pretty powerful weapons. Ooh. Ooh, that was kind of cool. So, yeah. We learned last time when we died, um, those little bee things that these guys shoot from their mouths, I don't think they can be avoided. I have to kill them. So, that's a bit of a disappointment. Right, give me all your boom. Oh, that's right, we can harvest mushrooms now, too. Apparently not these mushrooms. But there are mushrooms we can harvest, so... I don't know what that does just yet, but we will find out. Maybe, maybe this episode, maybe not. Oh, a big-ass sword. Cool. Seems quite powerful, actually. Alright. We're gonna be rolling in uh, gold shortly. Plenty of mushrooms as well. Now, the reason I've rushed straight into this crusade, too, by the way, you may see in the bottom right corner, we are on a timer. We want to resurrect number one who was our very first cultist who did die of old age, or rather, he was going to die of old age. We made the decision to um, ascend him to a higher plane of existence, um, which, you know, gave everybody much happiness, but one of the followers has asked us to bring him back from the dead. So, in this case, I want to gain an extra heart. So yeah, resurrect number one. So we have the resurrection ritual. It requires 150 bones. I believe we had something along the lines of like 70 or 80 at the start of this episode. Um, but I'm, I don't want to run out of time because I think running out of time is probably, from what I would understand, the worst thing to do. Declining it would have given, um, you know, a little bit of, ouch, a little bit of unhappiness. Um, I think failing it would, um, would be much worse, so we really want to get this task done. Whoop. There we go, tons of loot. Alright. Whoa! Angles. 
increase in size. I'm going to use it. But I don't know why. Why would I want to decrease in size, I wonder? Maybe it makes me a smaller target to hit? But I just, I have the feeling, usually when something decreases in size, it loses, you know, potency. So... Ooh, oh, necklace. Generate devotion faster. Okay. We probably don't want to get a new follower just yet. Um... Yeah. I think food is the way to go. I'm gonna go to the shop. I'm gonna... Uh, we'll buy some stuff. Wait. Oh, it's this guy. The relic guy. Deal damage to all enemies based on the amount of tarot cards you hold. That's not very good. Because, well, I do have a tarot card, so I guess it'll do something. Um, yeah. This guy won't mind if I break his stuff down, really. Probably not. Oh, there is really some just morbid decorations in this room. The more I look at it, the more messed up it is. Uh, cool. Can I go this way? I can. There we go. Um, I don't think it matters which one of these ones I take. We'll go this way. Straight down the guts. Uh, steal this guy's devotion. to be fancy and roll behind them and then, you know, do my little area of attack. Area of, area of effect? Attack? Um, but yeah, nah, anyway. Mosaic floors. Fancy. I'm gonna be honest, I like my cobblestone floors. to block me from attacking them, which makes it really tricky. This just hit me twice. Ow! What's going on there? This guy is just hiding out the corner. Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure we discovered last time that these rocks don't actually give us any materials, which is just a shame. But they are breakable, which means, by law, I must break them. It is one of the one of the tenets of the cult of the Lamb, of the of the Lambs of God, that anything breakable on a crusade must be Brock. Ooh. Clanic. We have much grass. Oh, let's take a tarot card. Ooh, that's a fancy one. Um, I can't say no. It's glowing. It's got runes buzzing off of it. It's rainbow colours, and it's also two times instead of one point two five. That's huge. Huge. And on we go. Wait, was that attack speed? That must have been attack speed times two. This is insane. Nothing will hit me now. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. Well, some things will hit me still. <laughs> Everything will hit me still. Oh, why am I so bad at this game? That's unbelievable. We have fast attacks. That's incredible. Um, and this was a dead end, so we'll go back the other way. Oh yeah, look at this! 
Those inanimate environments don't stand a chance. I actually feel indestructible. I've probably taken a bunch of hits because it looks like I've lost a bit of health, but seriously. I feel like I've just got a, a helicopter blade in front of me that is just constantly attacking. I like this one. This is uh, Death Sweep. This is a cool little uh, curse, so we will recycle that one. Cleansing Fire's alright, it's powerful, but it didn't seem to be that good. On to the boss. Alright, this time we're not gonna die. I swear it upon the lamb. Determined not to die. Alright. Got rid of him pretty quickly. Still that one guy over in the corner. There we go. Alright, so multiple choice. We could go up. Go across. Uh, oh, that's got eyeballs. This will be the relic guy again. Yeah. Freeze all active enemies. That could be good. But I'm not going to take it. I did get swarmed last time. But I just think. Oh, he's actually. He's actually mad at me. Oh, well. It's too late now. I've done it. Curious. I didn't realize he got mad at that. He always seemed fine about it before. <laughs> uh. See, freezing enemies won't freeze those yellow balls, so... To me... It's still possible to get overwhelmed, and if I rely on being able to freeze them, even if it only works once... Uh, it'll still get me killed. An explosive projectile. That sounds cool. Uh, vampiric dagger. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of daggers. And in all honesty, speed two. Like <laughs> these claws are already stupidly fast. We don't need nothing uh, faster than this. Ooh, Nelly. Um, I'm pretty keen to try out this uh, curse though. That seemed cool. Here we go. This guy again. Ooh. Maybe I have had this one before. Oh no! You will die! That was pretty cool. And it does recharge, that's excellent. Look at this though, absolutely destroying him! He didn't even stand a chance! in his beard. Um, follower form. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkins could be interesting. Or gold nuggets. I might take the pumpkin seeds. Oh yeah, look at all that money. Woo! Let's get out of here. Alrighty, we are on our way. Heretics defeated. Cleanse the non-believers. 
Uh, 129 bones. That's massive. So we might actually be able to do two rituals if we've got enough. So, yeah, it's going to be tricky. I'm actually a little bit nervous because number one was old when we ascended him. So if he comes back and he's still old, he's going to die. So it's going to be tricky. Uh, this guy's back. We did it. Congrats, we did it. Um, take all of these. Divine Inspiration unlocked. This is excellent. Collect Divine Inspiration. Now. Janitor Station. I want you to clean up after, after yourselves. There we go. Um, so, we build... Oh, we need refined materials. Okay, that's fine. This is good. It gives us purpose. Collect all of those. I think it was gold, wasn't it? Let me just double check that. Oh no, he died! We have a dead guy! Ah, perfect burial, burial. A follower has died. Commiserations on your loss. Corpses are not good for sanitation and are likely to cause other followers to get sick. You need to bury your follower in a body pit or grave to prevent them from getting rotten. Of course, there is a lot of meat to just go to waste. No, we're not going to cannibalize our followers. Prepare for burial. What a shame. That's our first actual organic death, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, yeah, Sonic. Poor Sonic. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Ah, Spark Demon has a task. Quest. Follow interactions, abort giving quest. Guys, I think it's bugged. Ah, uh, <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Uh, Alright, so we're running out of time to resurrect number one, so let's resurrect number one. We'll give a sermon real quick. Everybody get in here! <laughs> See, Treebeard's really old as well, so it's very likely that he might die soon, too. So we do want to avoid that if we can. Curse of the Tundra. Three new curses again. Might as well. Okay, so that's, that's that done. Everybody's happy. We do a ritual. We bring back from the dead. There we go. We want to bring number one back. There he goes. Oh, that's freaky deaky. Is he young again? He looks young again. That's excellent. If he lives a, a long, full life, our very first follower. Um, work and worship, law and order, sustenance. This has been a tricky one as well. So, ritual and harvest. Perform a ritual at your temple that causes all seeds to immediately be ready for harvest. Ritual of the Ocean's Bounty. Perform a ritual at your temple which for two days will make special fish more likely to appear. Huge! This might have been the answer to the question I was asking last episode. Now, at the time of recording, last episode hasn't gone up yet, so nobody's had a chance to comment, but this could be the solution I was asking for. We perform this ritual, then we go fish, and we might finally be able to catch ourselves some crabs and lobsters. So I might have to change my plans again. I was going to ascend Treebeard. Um, I don't have enough bones anyway. I've only got 27. I must have consumed a lot more bones than I thought. Um, yeah. Double fish for two days and special fish will be more common. 75. We only have 27. So that's a bit of a bummer. But we completed the task that was required of us. So... Ooh, what's wrong with number two? Is he hungry or is he sick? Read mind. Oh, he's starving. Okay. Well, let's cook some food. Oh, yeah, there's a few of them quite unhappy, actually, so... Yeah. Uh, now... Frenchie. I think he gave me the task to... I think the leader of my faith was justified. 
And then there's number one. Number one, I'm sure, is quite ecstatic to be alive again. Interact. Wasn't he trying to talk to me before? Maybe he just had the ex exclamation above his head because, um... So what, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, I have 13 beds, how many followers do I have? I have 12 followers. So who's, maybe it's because, does he have that medallion of never sleeping? Oh, tree beard, look at him, he's so old. Gonna die soon. And there was one other, I think. Whoops, ah, this guy. This will be my 13th guy. Convert me to your cult, Elegos. Well, you got leaves on your head like a Pokemon, so I'm gonna call you Oddish. Welcome to the cult, Oddish. Oh, I didn't check his, uh... I didn't check his stuff. Stand by. So, he gained faith when building better sleeping quarters. Uh-huh. 15% harder to level up. Uh-huh. We do have much money, so we can upgrade that. I don't know if that was his or not, but we can do it. Wait, what was that? I have a new follower in your flock, never mind. Uh, right. Yeah, structure is only built once. Confuse me for a second there. Uh, we can build more body pits. We don't need to right now. The outhouse we need, yeah, planks. And um, the janitor station, we need planks and gold. So I might actually just change the roster over here. Uh, get rid of that one. Some more planks. And some more gold. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna harvest some berries. Why is Oddish sleeping on the floor? Like, there's literally unused beds, I'm sure. Or is it because they're upgrading his bed? Okay, I can't catch them things. Um, like, there's this one here. Assigned to Spike Demon. Is he the one who's not gonna sleep? And Mad Cow. Mad Cow doesn't sleep, so I'm going to assign that one to, uh, what's his name? Oddish. There you go. Have a bed, mate. I think that's good for now. I'm going to go do some fishing while these guys are asleep. Although, as I say that, they'll wake up. <laughs> oh, no. Fishing is pointless. We, um, we haven't done that ritual yet, so I'm not going to bother with that. We're going to go back to our cult. Um... Everybody a blessing. Have some blessings, my children. Oh yeah, five at once. Gets me going. One of them did actually just nearly uh, peak. Uh, I've already given you a blessing. All right, settle down. You're an old man now as well. Jeez. Which one was that? That's Jack, right? Yeah, I was right about there being quite a few old men. Or old followers. I suppose we don't know if they're men, do we? Do they have genders? I don't think that's a thing in this game. Doozy has another quest for me. Yes, hello Doozy. What would you like me to do? All of this mess made me sick. If you don't allow me to rest, then I'll surely die. What mess? Excuse you. Ah, oh, there is quite a bit of poo around. Alright, well, jeez. Oh, go to bed, you jerk. Bed rest. Go on. I didn't even finish harvesting my berries. Way too distracted. This game gets pretty full on, I'm gonna be honest. Like, there's quite a bit to do now. And, um... Yeah. Aha. Right. Now, what I wanted to do, first of all, we're going to plant our pumpkin seeds. I hope that means that more will grow from there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. And then, ooh, we'll see the list of this. This is excellent. Ah, oh, there is absolute mess everywhere, isn't there? I'm guessing that's people vomiting at the side of the poo, but then why would they go over there when there's poo there anyway? Like, come on, 
guys, what are you doing? Of course our stone mine's destroyed itself. Alrighty. So, I do want to build more uh, seed plots. So, that'll do for now. Yeah, they're building them. I'm going to be a little bit impatient about this. Well, I've got some stuff to do anyway. I'm going to clean all this poop up. Uh, now that I think about it, our refined goods are Oh my god, there is so much poop! Look at it all! What have you guys been doing? Alright, if I collect my refined materials, I should now have enough to build the janitor's closet. Uh, janitor's... Janitor's station? Not quite. I don't have enough lumber and I don't have enough gold. I feel like I need to put a lot more gold in this too. So, we will continue to do that. Now, for the time being, actually, have I given him a sermon? Uh, I think I have done a sermon. Excuse you, I don't have a sook. Um, I'll just double check. Salmon. Here we go. Excellent. Ah. Right. Ah. So I'm going to quickly travel over to Mushroom Man. See what he's gonna give me for the mushrooms I've got. There he goes. Have all of my mushrooms. Yes, these will do just fine. So as I will share with you this ritual, but you must not show anyone. Stand back. Or you will get brainwashed too. Brainwashing ritual. Perform a ritual at your temple that brainwashes all your followers. Faith will be locked at full for two days. That's huge. Is there like negative repercussions? Like do they have a hangover afterwards? Sozo's so -so loyal followers are brainwashed. They will do whatever Sozo -so says for a few days and lose no faith in Sozo. -so. But afterward many of them will fall sick. Of course. Now that you have seen, you can go to your temple and perform a ritual yourself. Hey, and we've completed that thing. We can upgrade the pro pad. Or is that for the cloak? I might be able to up upgrade the cloak. Holy talisman, the fleece. There you go. Talismans are mystical relics that the red crown can use to unlock new fleeces. Unlock and equip fleeces from the altar in your temple. Cool, so we'll do that real quick. Oh, Treebeard, is he about to die? There he goes. No. Alright. Well, first things first. Wrap him up. Dig a hole. Right next to Sonic. There we go. Bit of a shame. Our uh, followers are starting to fall. This is what happens when you have an aging population. Don't give me a quest, mad cow. Dig the hole. Jeez. What do you want me to do? I don't know about all this. If you were truly a great leader, wouldn't this place look nicer? Uh, decorations. You're joking, aren't you? Alright, mate. Well, first we're going to bury him, and then we'll have a look at what decorations we can give. So we've got that one. We have already built the, the grass arc. Oh, that's right. We unlocked these last time. An alchemy engine. A uh, deer clops figure, a sculpture depicting a beast from a distant land. Marble tree, I don't, <laughs> I don't think an axe will cut it. Uh, pig's head, 
That's kind of creepy, considering we have pigs in our cult, so I don't really want to do that. Science machine. What is science? Potted tree guard. Is it alive? And a hay wall. Not very sturdy. We do have different paths. Oh, the Leshy Trophy. Oh, structure is only built once. I do actually want to build that. That's kind of cool. But we need more refined materials, so we shall not. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to build the Alchemy Engine. This sounds badass. I'll build it near my uh, cooking station. And then... Did that count? Let's build it and see if that counts. Well, you know what? I didn't mean to talk to you. As you were. So, Oddish is uh, at the farm, if you can see that on the right. First we had the cow tending to the crops, now we've got the plants tending to the crops. Um, does this thing do anything? I don't think it does, I think it's just, yeah, just a decoration. Oh, well, nonetheless. Let's put a tree up here. Machine. I don't know what a science machine does. Let's put that there. While you guys build that, I'm going to go on another crusade. Because I have stuff to do. Ooh, Crusader's Blade. And Death Squall, a devastating melee attack that will also freeze hit enemies. That's pretty cool. So... One thing I did want to try... Yeah, that's cool. That's the sword's, like, heavy attack. That's excellent. Oh, I was probably supposed to read that. Whoops. That's right, I never really uh, cared much for authority anyway, so I'm not going to do what a tablet tells me to do. Get out of here! Maybe there is value in the faster weapons. I do find... Um, since those gauntlets had like that stupidly fast attack speed, it does feel like an easier way to fight. Maybe you do less damage per hit, but you get more hits in. And it seems to like, uh, like stun an enemy, so to speak, or it like staggers them. So you can like stun lock them while you're hitting them. Uh, Kudai's Toenail. Ew. Summon a new curse with an increased level. That's cool. I want to see this curse that I'm using first before I start doing that. Because, yeah, that was sick. This curse is actually pretty cool. Ow! Alrighty. Go to the... Uh, Tarot cards. So the one on the left, when attacks, 20% chance of negating damage. That's pretty good. That's one in five hits. Um, I can't say no. I'm not sure why I'm getting these upgraded tarot cards, but this is cool. Like, because that's Shield of Faith Plus. Um, I'm never going to argue with that. That's, that's awesome. I see Mad Cow's gotten old as well now. Just got that notification. Dude, my entire cult is literally going to be like two people by the end of this episode. Oh. Ah, this guy. We're going to duke it out, are we? It was not so long ago that we cast out the Red Crown. A mere thousand or so years. Oh, not that long ago. The heresy it preached could not be tolerated. Such noxious ideals. It could not be allowed. For this most damning of sins, the ret retribution must be slow and painful. I cast a famine. No, not my cult. And with greed and ambition unchecked, it grew. Sorry, it drew godly blood. Hmm, I have ideas. We will manage. Although, being a bunch of elderly people, they're probably all going to die anyway, so. You know, starving them to death. You know, we'll be Okay, faster weapons not always the best thing. I'm discovering. Oh, 
That's alright, I do feel like I'm doing quite well with this sword, so this is still pretty good. Absolutely building that. And it only costs five stone. Build a hundred of them. Are they the cool ones that rebuild themselves too? Because hell yeah. Ooh, this is a big one. Um, two times gold. I'm not going to say no to that. Yeah, you're into this guy's statue. Psh, wait, that was still the devotion first. There we go. Get out of here. Another tarot card. Uh, overall weapon damage increased by 1.5. Enemies have a chance to drop a fish. That is kind of tempting because we are desperately looking for lobsters and crabs, but I'm going to go with the extra damage. Because I don't want to die. Oh, dip. I did just realise... Okay, never mind. Oh, Vampiric Sword, that's huge. I'm gonna take that, 100%. So, recycle that one. But also, we can use our Relic here. There we go. Did that just immediately change my thing? It did. So now we've got the Tentacle one. That's pretty cool. And it's level 5 as well, which is huge. Yes, line up! Oh, I missed a ball. <laughs> Yeah, okay, the tentacle ones aren't that good. Uh, it's cool, and I like it, but it's hard to hit. Very similar to that arrow one, actually, now that I think about it. And the arrow one was really tricky as well, but the arrow one didn't even do any damage. The tentacle one, I think, does deal quite a bit of damage when it hits. It's just, you know, hard. Okie doke, I'm gonna go down before I go up. Ooh, what is this? Do I talk to it? Do I kill it? Sacrifice health. What does this do, though? Guess there's only one way to find out. Have some health. A single red heart was sacrificed. Weapon damage has been increased. This is excellent. I'll take some bones. Don't mind if I do. Jeez, my weapon damage must be through the charts now. Off the charts, through the roof. I know what I mean. Yeah, these mushroom things are making it quite tricky. Mushroom things can be killed. This is important. Ah, oh, I've got shields. That's part of the issue. I was bouncing off the shields, not the mushrooms. <laughs> That's alright. We got there. We got them. Make a flower bed. 
Ironically, I sold all my flowers, and now I can't find any. So I hope they don't actually become an important resource, because, you know, I might need them. Right, now that we've got a bit of that stuff, okay, we can name the tentacles. Lanterns, that's kind of cool as well. Alright. Seem to be finding a lot of cosmetic things this time around. Ooh. Wait, this is the same boss as before. Cut that. I tried to avoid it, I rolled right into it. I'm actually low on health. Oh, I rolled straight into him! Wow, I died. Did I just die? How did I die? <laughs> wow! I'm just really struggling at the moment. This, this combat situation is just not doing it for me. That dude charges up his attack, and then, like, I go to dodge, and he attacks in the direction I dodge in, so that's kind of frustrating. Mad cow. I guess that's a bit better. Now that you have uh, fulfilled your quest, you can die. Uh, oh, why is- oh, that's right, there was a famine. Hmm. So, yeah, I kind of want to do this. We do a ritual. But I wanted to do that one. I don't have enough bones either way. Oh my god. This is actually silly. The fact that I keep dying on crusades is really annoying. Um, I've just got to cook a bunch of stuff, I guess. Grassy gruel. Wow, that actually fills them up quite a lot. There you go, have some grassy gruel. Um, I'm not gonna muck around, I'm gonna... Well, I'll talk to Doozy first, what's his deal? You did it, truly, you are without flaw. Okay, I apparently seem to be... Oh, he was sick, that's right, now he's not sick. Okay, this is good. Now, is anybody going to actually eat the food? Like, I don't want you guys to starve to death while I'm out. Um, but no, I'm, I'm not even going to muck around. I'm literally going to go straight back out. Maybe I won't. Not just yet. Alright, I didn't mean that. Yeah, these guys are all hungry. Let's give them all blessings while we're here. Not you. Not you! I can't talk to Frenchie. There we go. Piglet. Can't talk to him either. Man, there's so many old people in my uh, cult. I've already done this guy, haven't I? No, I haven't. So why is he still hungry when I cooked enough to fulfill everybody's hunger? Didn't I? I thought I did. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh, I've already done it. Spark Demon? Jack, I tried to do a Jack before. I might have already done him. I've already done him. Okay, is everybody happy? We're all good. We've all et. Um, actually, yeah, while I'm here, there's one more thing. I Ooh. Seeds, mate. There we go. Keep doing that stuff. There we go. Grow some flowers. Um. Ah, uh, no, my lumber yard's falling down as well. We've probably got tons and tons of that stuff, so we probably don't need too much for now. First of all, building my statue. My statue, a monument to all. Um, there it goes, right there. I can't afford one of these. But we're pretty good for both of those resources for now. Beauty. Ah, oh, here we go, we have a divine inspiration. This is terrific. Cheaper rituals. Huge! Good. Now, because of that one, I'm gonna go give a sermon. Excellent. Might of the Devout. Uh, increase the starting level of weapons when you begin a new crusade. That's huge. Considering we keep dying, this might be where we need to um, focus our attentions. Upgrading some of our... some of our stuff. Alrighty. Now, we can upgrade the fleece as well, which actually I forgot to do before. Uh, damage dealt increases after each kill, but resets when hit. That is actually awesome. Uh, curses deal double damage and cost half the fervor, but melee weapon damage and health are halved. Yeah, nah. Not my kind of uh, playstyle. When a tarot card is drawn, gain maximum one diseased heart, but become poisoned after taking damage. Yeah, no. All hearts will be replaced by 1.5 times the amount of blue hearts. Interesting. That actually... Wait. Does that mean all hearts of mine or all hearts that I find? Hmm. Oh yeah, fragile fortitude. So that'd be my hearts. So I get more hearts, but I can't replenish them unless I find more blue hearts. Not bad. Considering replenishment doesn't seem to happen very much on, in raid anyway. Hmm. But then that would make, like, vampiric weapons um, redundant, basically, because they wouldn't heal you. So maybe not. Draw four tarot cards at the start of a run, but none can be drawn after. That's pretty good, too, because that basically means you've got your maximum number of cards from the beginning, and you gain those benefits for the whole run. I don't mind that one, either. But I have to, I have to think... It'll be the Golden Fleece. Damage dealt increases after each kill, but resets when hit. Oh, but you take double damage. Okay. I see now. <laughs> no, okay, no, we'll do the Fleece of the Fates then. We'll do the Tarot Cards one. I didn't realise the Golden Fleece took double damage. That's that's a hefty uh, <laughs> price to pay, let's be honest. Right. Um, yeah, so we can upgrade this as well. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Possessions. We haven't done anything with Possessions yet, so... Is money the root of all evil, or is the true evil withholding it from me? Unlocks the extort tithes, follower action.
collect gold from a follower once each day. That's a bit mean. Bribe follower. Unlocks the bribe follower action. Bribe a follower with three times money to increase their loyalty. Hmm. We'll do extort tithes. We've got a pretty good income at the moment, but, you know, if we ever need, like, a new gold, I guess, that'll be a good way to get it. Well, a way to get it anyway. Probably not a good way. And lastly, we do a ritual because I... Yeah, there we go. 37 bones. This is much better. Ritual of the Ocean's Bounty. So, fish are food, not friends. We ritualize that and enshrine it. Yeah, cool. Right. Terrific. Now, Ocean's Bounty has begun. Let's go catch some fish. Oh, rare fishies. Oh my goodness. He just latched straight onto that, didn't he? Come here. <laughs> Ooh, swordfish. Ooh, there we go. Lobster! Catch one of every fish. That's not right. Or have I already... Have I already caught a crab? No, I haven't caught a crab. You lie! As promised, here's a bit of treasure. Yeah, so he did give me another piece of one of those things. So that'll give us another fleece upgrade when we max that out. Which we probably don't need. I mean, the golden fleece is tempting, don't get me wrong. But this tarot card one, I think, is, is the way. None of the others really appealed to me. The blue heart one, I guess, did kind of appeal. But again, as I say, vampiric weapons are like my favourite. And you can't replenish blue hearts unless you find blue hearts. So the vampiric weapons typically wouldn't do anything. That's how I understand it. Maybe I'm wrong. But, um, yeah. Come on, there's got to be a crab. There he is. Pinch me, is that a crab? This gave me such a f fight, I thought I'd hooked a whale, it's yours now. <laughs> An inanimate object, yeah. Such a, such a fight. Cool. Not bad, not bad at all, you're a pro with a pole. Excuse me? You stocked me up nice and good. If you find the fishing scarce, I'll sell them. Now he sells them. Ooh, a bit of gold. Anyway, I don't think we need to fish anymore. That'll keep. That'll uh, take forever. So we do have quite a bit of gold. Let's see what we can buy. Fire projectile when you swing your weapon. Oh, that's cool. Uh, harvest bonus resources. That's also pretty good. I do actually like that. 20% uh, more damage during the day. Drop a friendly bomb when hit. A friendly bomb? Um, I'm going to take this one. Because uh, often we'll, we'll go crusading to get bones and such. And if we get double the bones, it means we have to crusade less. Alright, so... Yeah, it's looking like nearly all of our followers are old as well. So this is quite problematic. Yeah, look at them all. They're all walking around in their old man robes. A uh, new day has passed, so I can give them all a blessing. I thought I was extorting money off him for a second there. It scared the crap out of me. I might have already got all these guys. No, I didn't. I didn't get this guy. Robber has a quest for me. I already got Jack. Yeah, alright, whatever. What is it? 
Great leader, do you think we could have something extravagant to eat soon? Like maybe some delicious fish feasts? Yeah, we could do that. I do happen to have some delicious fish to feast on, so... Alright, that's probably nearly all of them. Piglet baby, I might have already got him. I already got him. Oh no, number one's sick. My statue. Right, so we cook ourselves. Delicious fish feast. There you go. That's right, I wanted to build. Yay, we can build it! The janitor station. I'm gonna stick it up here because they seem to. Well, maybe not. I'll stick it down here. Stands the reason that they like to poo in the corner, so I'll stick the janitor station in the corner. Although, now that I think about it, I probably should have just done the outhouse. Nah, actually, I think the janitor station's more beneficial because then they clean up even yeah you know, all their mess. I think that was the way to go. We will still do an outhouse, but maybe not necessarily this time. While we're at it, I want to build some paths. Okay, I'll give everybody a sermon. the natural burial building the corpses of the dead followers may return to the earth by becoming fertilizer that's kind of gross but makes sense grieve the fallen unlocks the grave building gain two faith when followers grieve at the grave well that makes sense given how many people are probably going to be dying soon graves are a good thing i guess Now, do we have enough to do a ritual? Uh, we kind of do, but we kind of don't. Ah, I'll give it a miss for now. Well, actually, now this might be the last time I have this many followers for a long time, so maybe we will. Let's light the fires and let us dance deep into the night. Fire inside's a good idea, but you know what? Our God allows it. In fact, our God demands it. There we go. And everybody's happy. Uh, apparently hygiene levels are quite low, though. I don't know what I've done to do that, but... Um... Oh, here we go. I'm going to get an upgrade here. Yeah! Confession booth, propaganda speakers, crypt. The crypt is a good one as well. Multiple dead followers to rest, avoid running corpses. That might actually save us some time and money because if a whole bunch of them start dropping off, we can just throw them all into a crypt instead of building. No, actually, because if they grieve at a grave, as it said, um, that uh, might be a little bit more beneficial. Fertilizer silos, good. The harvest totem, what does that do? Speed of all farm plots. Send two followers on a holy quest at once. Yeah, right. Um, what I might do. What is this one? Shrine Flame. Light the cleansing fire and harvest more devotion. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Harvest more devotion. 
think I have to build anything for that, do I? Add fuel. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Excellent. This is good. Look at their eyes. Flames in their eyes. Um, yeah. I think we might call it there, ladies and gentlemen. But, um... Yeah, obviously things are going quite well. We are expecting a mass tirade of death. You may have noticed I'm preparing for it. Well, you've got Piglet, you've got Jack, you've got Mad Cow. They're all old men. Uh, Doozy's an old man. Um, number one is ill, but he's also been revived from the dead twice. So I don't know if that's just like an after effect. Go get some bed rest, mate. Um, I might queue up some of this stuff too. Uh, yeah, so, oh my goodness, yep, that's why the hygiene levels are bad. But, um, yeah, I think we'll leave it here. And, um, yeah, when we come back next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will have a clean cult. Um, hopefully still a very much alive cult. Um, we'll, we'll get ourselves back into some crusades, we'll hopefully stop dying in said crusades, because we do need to take down this, uh, Hecate. Oh, no, there he goes. It's begun. Jack is dead. Well, no, go away. God, I'm trying to end the episode. Can you guys just, like, stop dying for, like, one minute? Seriously. Um, where is he? Jack is dead. That's not what I wanted to do. Anyway, wrap his body up. There we go. Now, we dig ourselves a grave. Ah, oh, I see. You upgrade the plots. Oh, now I don't have enough gold. Okay, I'm going to cancel that. No, don't build it. Don't build it. No, 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 no. Well, I can't cancel that now. I screwed up. But I should have enough gold to make amends. I do not. Oh, my goodness. One gold. I need one gold. So, I'm going to sell a fish. There we go. That's one gold. We dig a hole. Right. There we go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Jack has been buried. Right. Now, before anybody else dies, we're going to call it there. Um, next time we will crusade again. We will hopefully defeat Hecate. Um, we don't have any other outstanding... Oh, we need to cook another delicious fish. We don't have any other outstanding tasks at the moment. So, that will be our priority. That will be next time. Thanks again for tuning in. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe. Chuck a comment down there. Let me know what you think of the series. How you think it's going. Um, any advice or recommendations. Um, heck, any, anything you want to see me play in the future, maybe, even. Just whatever you feel like it. Um, but yeah, it's been a pleasure. Till next time, catch us later. Peace out, amigos.